Alrighty, so I had a viewer suggestion to use the Nalfami bird team again, but instead of using Gil Thunder, he wanted me to use uh, Trader Meliodas, and that is definitely an option that you could do. I think, I think that it's going to go either way. You could definitely use Meli if you wanted to, but because Raftalia's passive has the part about decreasing allies' damage taken by 30% if all allies are in battle are of the same attribute, I think going mono blue might have a little bit better sort of startup to your teams maybe because if you use melee it's going to break your you know attribute you know like mono blue ism or whatever you want to call it but um you know you can build up melee's passive over time which will help you you know take less damage overall uh and melee does hit insanely hard so i think that he's still a good unit but just to go with the mono blue this way we're going to get 30 percent damage reduction across the board at the very start um and you know this you know having um Having Escanor on the team is actually going to give us the option to be able to skip the taunt phase in phase two if we really want to, or in floor two, phase two. Um, and I don't know, he's just a good unit altogether. His ultimate is just fantastic. Obviously, it doesn't have any sort of canceling, um, which could potentially maybe be an issue, I guess. But honestly, I think that the last run that we did went super, super well. I don't think we're going to have any issues getting through this thing. Um, this time, unless we just get some really weird RNG or something like that, but I think Escanor is going to be able to hold up way, way better than Gil Thunder because Gil Thunder was just absolutely getting in the way. He just kept making it to where we were drawing way too many of his cards. His ultimate wasn't hitting very hard. He just, he was really limiting us. Like his passive was really nice to make these two hit, like hit harder, I guess, but at the same time, you know, once you get a couple of stacks of Megelda's passive, you should be pretty much okay regardless. And, you know, after Nalphamy takes some hits and he builds up some Wrath stacks, you, you should be in the clear. So, uh, I don't think we're going to have too many issues there. Hopefully this will kill, uh, just in case it doesn't. We'll throw this out. Kind of not really sure about getting Escanor's ult this early. I guess I could just use it and work on getting it again for the last phase, but... I guess it just depends on how good our card draw is. But we're going to do a full run today just because, I don't know, I think it's very helpful um, seeing different teams and stuff like that be able to beat the bird. Um, and, I mean, obviously if you've summoned on the new characters at all, then you're probably going to be in a pretty good position, I would think, uh, to be able to use this team potentially. So, um, we don't really need to do anything. We could go for Raftalia's ultimate. I think I'm going to hold off on that for now. So let's actually just kind of move some of these Nalphamy cards around, get him closer to ultimate, because that's going to do more than enough damage there, because there's no damage cap on phase one and two. And then let's see here. So we have a level one uh, taunt here. I think we go ahead and use it, try to build up some Wrath Stacks in this phase. Um... We could go ahead and get his ultimate in hand. It doesn't really matter too much, I guess. I think we do that. And then try to just move around for some other ultimates. Because at the moment, we really don't need anything too crazy. The biggest deal is going to be making sure we get enough stacks on him. So that way, his ultimate will hopefully hit damage cap whenever we go into this last phase here, because that was one of the things that really surprised me about the first run that we did, was that once he was, you know, max stacked, uh, he actually did a really good job <laughs> at uh, hitting damage cap. So let's go ahead and get all of these ultimates and everything in hand, I guess. Because honestly, we don't really have to do anything too crazy here. Hopefully, Nalphamy takes another hit. Um, just so that way we can move into the last phase with full stacks, but I'm not gonna hold it against him if the bird decides to target somebody else. I did put um, Tarmia Link on now for me just because the ideal scenario is that we're gonna be taunting with him a lot. Looks like he's going for Miguelda instead, which I guess isn't super surprising. Hopefully if this deals damage, it does, we get our last stack there. So, we're looking like we're in a really good spot here, I think. Let's go ahead and 
This lasts for three turns. I think we're going to just use this. Let's actually, let's go ahead and heal just so that way we hopefully get a couple of extra stacks. We'll use this. That should hopefully kill. And then I don't have any Escanar cards, unfortunately. Ooh, that might have been a misplay. I might have needed to try to keep moving his cards around and stuff like that from extra ultimate, but it is what it is. Actually, is this going to kill? Nah, it's not, unfortunately. Maybe have overestimated her a little bit. I always assume 4 of 1 going to go, like, super smooth. Uh, luckily, he cancels her. Not super happy about the fact that she got canceled, but I think we should be okay. Because she has the Power Strike ultimate and I have her 6-6, six, six, I think we're going to be in a good spot um, to still be able to hit damage cap with her. So That kills. Got some decent cards in hand. Let's see how this goes. I am very interested. So let's go ahead and use this, 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 and then... I guess we'll just go ahead and use the ultimate here. We still have uh, one more turn after this, I think, for Rough Talia's um, stacks that she's put on with her ultimate. So that's really, really good. I think we kill here regardless. Okay, he did not hit damage cap, but... Still not too bad. Very, I mean, the fact that he can just hit in general on this phase is good. So, all right, moving on. Alrighty, coming in on phase two here. Uh, as long as we either go into the next phase with a stance or uh, we get Escanor's ultimate, I think I'm going to try to push for the ultimate as well. So... Um, let's just kind of do like a weird little bit of damage turn one, put up the taunt so that way hopefully we can get some stacks going. Um, I normally try to wait for everybody to get a debuff on or something like that before I try to cleanse. Just so that way I can get an extra stack on Miguelda's heal. Uh, let's, I think we're pretty much good in this scenario. I don't want her to take too much damage, but I think the damage reduction plus him having the taunt... Uh, is going to pretty much save us there. I don't think that she's going to full heal or anything like that, so let's just go ahead and use these, get Escanor's ultimate in hand, and then these should deal pretty decent damage, I don't think. Uh, we're going to have too many issues with that. 137. I think 137's damage cap on this phase. Not positive on that. Um, we're not pulling stances, which is kind of bad. I'm seeing that maybe Tarmiel or Tarmiel Link on Miguelda might have been the best option. Unfortunately, um, I think we go ahead and just use some of these cards right here. That should be enough to to push phase. I think. Plus, we have some decent cards in hand, so hopefully we can one phase this if possible. If not, hopefully we draw a, a stance card. So. Let's see how it goes. We have three stacks on now for me, so nothing crazy. Um, let's go for the kill here, I guess. So hopefully that will be enough to push the phase, or push push for the revive, I guess. And then that Miguelda card should... Ooh, 75k damage is not good. This has to hit, like, damage cap. I think that... Yeah, I think that did it. Okay, so... Not terrible. Kind of kind of impromptu. I'm glad we went for the Escanor ult instead of just relying on drawing taunt cards, because that's very annoying. Um, I think... I can't remember exactly what this phase is. Oh, okay, I remember now. So let's go ahead and taunt up, try to get some extra stacks here, try to push for some more ultimate move gauge on my boy now for me. Uh, I don't know that that's going to hit damage cap, but we're going to hope that it does, maybe. And then... I think we just go for his ultimate this turn. It's only a one-turn stance, unfortunately, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, I think that was damage cap, because it did three full bars. You just have to be very careful in this phase not to do too much damage, because then he gets extra passives that you don't want to deal with, or he'll completely like full heal off of some attacks and stuff like that which is really really annoying so be 
be careful with the cards that you use. If you're good, if you think you're gonna hit damage cap, don't use anything else on the first first turn. And then you know, if you don't think you're gonna hit, hit damage cap, you can use some extra cards here and there. Uh, still one stack missing on now for me, which is not great. But I think using hmm, I don't want to underestimate or like overestimate myself here. So I'm gonna try to use all of these cards. Miguelda only has one stack of her passive, so I know she's not going to hit damage cap or anything, but I'm hoping that the rest of these cards do enough damage to make up the difference. This is looking interesting. I think we're okay, because this flood card hits hard. Nice. Okay. I think that was good. I'm not, I'm not going to complain with that performance. So now we're in the last phase. Um... I think we just go ahead and get the Nalfami stuff out of the way. We can go ahead and ult. Why not? He's going to tank pretty pretty easily in this last phase here. Would have loved to have gotten an extra heal card to try to have more HP going into the last you know floor. But, you know, RNG is not always great with you there. Plus, I'm infected at the moment. So, which I... That's good. But I guess if I would have already had it, it would have cleansed the most recent debuff anyway. So, I would have been able to work around that regardless. So... I think we're Ooh, that one that one kind of hurts sometimes. Not I don't think this is going to get her like super full or anything like that, but I think we have more than enough damage here to kill, so um let's hope this is a good heal. Pretty good. She's almost all the way full. If I had any of her attack cards or anything, I I would try to use those to try to life steal a little bit more HP, but oh well. Uh are we going to kill here? Draftali kind of let me down a little bit there. Yeah, and without a stance, that's not doing as much. Um, yeah, no other heal. That's unfortunate because now I feel like I kind of wasted <laughs> wasted that heal a little bit. Oh, well, uh, not a huge deal. Would have loved to have gone in with more HP, but it kind of just is what it is. So he's going to be kind of low. I'm probably going to have to pop stance first turn next phase uh, or next floor, so that way we can actually get through this. But... Uh, either way, we should be good to go. Let's move into the last floor. Oh, that almost killed. Well, a little bit of life shield, nothing crazy, though. Alrighty, here we are in the last phase. Um, is it the debuff card that's the AoE? I think it, yeah, I think it is. Kind of unfortunate that he's going to hit me with a double AoE here, because I want, I want her to take as little damage as possible. But I think we're just going to try to get rid of some of these cards and then we will heal up next phase because we should be able to cleanse off the uh, blockade debuff that he's going to end up putting on us here. Level 1 cards in this phase do really bad damage, so if you can get away with doing level 2s and stuff like that, it definitely helps a bit more. But uh, we have a level 2 stance that we could go for, which would be kind of nice. Um, almost tempted to just keep them as level 1s, though. Which I think might be the better option. Um, tanking an ult is not ideal, really. So let's try to do a decent amount of damage here. Hopefully this is an okay heal. That's alright, I guess. Um, yeah, she's... Um, the fact that she's as low as she is is really concerning to me, but hopefully if Nalfami can tank well enough, uh, we should be okay, I think. No heal cards, very unfortunate. That's dealing a lot of damage. And then we gotta hit, take the ult. Yeah, not great. Okay, targeting single target on Nalfami is good. So, I think we just try to get some damage out. With Nalfami here, I kind of want to use that, but I, I think trying to push for a kill could be better, but I really don't think we're going to be able to push for a kill this game or this turn, so let's go ahead and hit the Miguelda card just for a little bit of lifesteal, and then hopefully he uses not too many AoE cards here, because that would be not great. But this should deal some pretty good damage, I think. Yeah, 176 is not bad at all. That's okay, 4,000 heal, okay. Still, 
no heal card might end up having to to reset just on pure you know RNG, which is very unfortunate. Um, but luckily, single target here. Ooh, this is okay. Never mind. Uh, this is where he, yeah, debuffs us. Okay. Um, not the worst thing in the world. I think we're fine, honestly. Let's use that and get rid of it. Um, and then I think both of these should be enough to kill here. Maybe should have moved the Megelda card to try to get her ultimate. So that way the big damage that we would have done with it could have lifestealed more, but... Ooh, we don't kill here. No, that's not good at all. Ooh. Does he have his ultimate as well? Because I think we're screwed. I think we're going to have to reset on this one. Here this is. That's fantastic. All right. Be right back. All righty. So uh, we're pretty much back to where we were, if not a little bit beforehand. Uh, I've been pulling some decent Megelda cards, and with level twos, I should be able to get through this a little bit easier. She's still taking a little bit more damage than I'm hoping for, but... It just kind of is what it is. Hopefully, uh, we can either pull up a heal sometime soon. Apparently not. We do get an ult, though, uh, which isn't necessarily like we don't need to use that this turn if we don't have to. Um, luckily, Escanor is immune this turn, so I think using this level 2 should hopefully kill. If not... Um, let's try that, and then if that doesn't kill, we'll rely on this. But hopefully this kills. Does. Good. Moving into this next phase. I can't remember exactly. I think this phase is mainly just, like, ultimate removal. Like, if once, uh, once he has a couple of stacks on him, or, or not stacks, but, like, once you're a couple of turns in, if, uh, if he ends up getting... Or if you end up attacking, sorry, I'm, my brain is all over the place right now. If you end up attacking, it kind of like puts a dissolve on yourself, which is not great. Um, so let's try to just get out a little bit of damage here. I would like to save ultimates for next turn if possible, so that way we can get through it as quickly as possible. So that way we don't get a, stuff, or a lot of stuff, you know, kind of taken away from us. Because uh, like we did in the previous video, if we can kill turn like in one turn and not get our uh, stances... Um, canceled or like can can uh, stances uh, sealed and like you know actually be able to get those off that would be fantastic but I guess it just all depends on RNG here the fact that we have Espinor's ultimate should hopefully make things easier in that regard um, but I guess it's just gonna get to depend on RNG here though so let's do something like this I guess because we really don't have anything else I would have loved to have pushed more for Raftalia's ultimate or tried to get some Nalfami cards in hand but not looking great there which I don't think we kill here so let's see what we end up pulling in hand next turn um okay we got a stance if he doesn't delete it that would be great uh, this ult might hurt. Uh, not too bad. Okay. I think this is actually going to delete it. Yeah. That's a big rip. Uh, <laughs> yeah, baby! Alright, um... I think that these cards should kill. Ooh, right? Do we... I think we stance instead, so that way we get more damage. And then those cards should kill. I think we get Raftalia's ultimate. I think. Yeah, we get Raftalia's ultimate here. Going into the next phase. Um, it was really nice having his stance on to get a little bit of extra damage off and everything. Just to, like, hit those. Ah, oh, she got dissolved. See, that was the, that was the big issue. Uh, that we kind of ran into last time, which we're, we're, we don't have any stances or anything. We just need to go for literally as much damage as possible. I think that's going to be our best play. Boom. Ooh, not even damage cap. Not even close. Yeah, I don't think we one-turn this this turn, unfortunately, or this time. So that's unfortunate. We're now not going to be able to use stances, which is a big hindrance on Nalfami. Um... Still not really that great of cards either. I don't know that we're going to be able to kill this turn either. Really. 
like realistically. I mean, he's taking damage and everything, but his <sighs> stances are so nice to have. Like, the, ideally, I guess if you can go into this phase with a st like a level two stance, um, that would be perfect. So that way you can actually get um, as much damage off as possible, and it'll last through the turn, and you don't have to use it at the beginning of your turn. Yeah, this is not going great so far. I gotta be honest, this is really hindering us. Was Did we get like a bad passive or something? Attacking enemy with a uh, debuff results in critical strike. Hmm. I mean, that's not really doing much. Decreases the damage this, uh, this hero takes from enemies by 40%. So that's definitely not helping. We don't have any way to remove that either. So we are in a really bad spot. I don't think that this is going to go well. Um, let's heal up first, get a couple of stacks on everybody if we can. I don't really need to waste those if possible. Get an ultimate in hand, I guess. Because he's got evasion on, and I can't get rid of that, so. Boom. 15k, huh? That's, uh... That's something. We've pulled literally zero Nalfami cards as well, which is also not helping anything. So that's fun. Um, We have really good stacks on Escanor, so I'm really hoping for something big out of him here. That should kill. If not, I'm in big trouble because we are way too many turns behind. Okay, so I need to check and see what all is sealed. Uh, luckily, I think we got the one passive that doesn't revive, which is good. But we can't use stances, debuffs, or buff skills, which isn't necessarily a big issue, but not being able to use this sucks. So, let's just go for as much damage as we can, I guess. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and get her ultimate, I guess. We'll, ha we'll have a heal in hand just in case. Use the level 2, why not? Okay, so 100k basically. 100k. Okay, 60k is not great. 100k, not bad. I mean, 100k is about 10% of his HP, so it's not awful. I think we're going to be in, a, in an okay position here. If I could pull some Nalfami attack cards, that would be fantastic. I'm glad he's going for Nalfami in this scenario, though. That's actually really good for me. Uh, let's go ahead and use this. Go ahead and heal. And I've got a couple of stacks. Do I just use these? Go for some card space, I guess. Could have went for Nalf or, uh, Raftalia's ultimate, but... We're just gonna play it by ear a little bit here. Okay, there's 100k from her with some stacks on, which is good. 100k there, not too bad. Don't have to worry about a res at all, uh, so that's good. That's bad. Okay, so we don't have any way to get through that because I didn't go for an ultimate. I don't think Raftalia's ultimate was gonna hit through it regardless because her and Nalfami are both 1-6. So let's just get rid of all of this stuff and get some ults in hands. Alright, healing up here. Everybody's full. We can tank another turn. No big issue here. Uh, we've got hopefully more than enough damage in hand with these three ults. And then that should be pretty much it. Uh, obviously, if we would have got a revive passive, that would have been a lot worse. But uh, And like I said, you can definitely use Melee here if you have him. I think it probably would end up being the better option, but uh, I just wanted to use something a little bit more accessible. That way you're not like, oh, you know, I don't have melee, uh, and this way you get the, the you know, the 30% damage reduction just straight out of the gate. You don't have to worry about, like, building up stacks with melee's passive or anything like that, so. Um, I don't know. I mean, honestly, if you wanted to use this as your, like, daily or, like, weekly uh, sort of demonic beast team and you have them invested into it and everything like that, I, I would say it works out just fine, really. I mean, obviously, aside from a few weird, you know, 
RNG things here and there, or not being able to heal up before going into the next floor, or this or that. Like, there's a couple of hindrances for sure, um, and not being able to get through, you know, the phase, or floor, floor three, phase three, uh, in the first turn, and getting your stances sealed is definitely a big issue for now for me, but I mean, hey, that's a win. I mean, we did it. I did it. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. That's pretty much it. Don't really have anything else to talk about. If you guys have any other, I guess, suggestions or anything like that, I don't really want to mess with the now for me team too, too much and, you know, these, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys in the next video.